Hello guys, you're back with another video and today we're going to show you where my order got from Amazon. The hint's there mm -hmm. and the hint's there. Semi dirty boots. Okay, go on. Open up. Open it. Oh. Well, it can work, yeah. could it? Right. What's in here? Oh. Cotton for. Well, I don't know this. So this is. Wait, is it the bigger version of the? Like the foam cleaner. Yeah. Um, we got Jason Marks, and that's why um, J, um, J Mike from um, Unisport recommended when you're cleaning your uh, boots and shoes to get Jason Marks. And Jason Marks is a bit expensive. I want to get some more. So I thought, let me try this Adidas foam cleaner um cleaner and conditioner water based formula and for cleaning uh boot mm -hmm. uh clean cleaning conditioning instant foam solution breaks down grime and dirt action keep a reach of children i'm not entirely sure it's the right stuff you know good cleaning conditioner so give some instructions here i'm not sure it's not focusing great so what we're gonna do? We clean the boots. So um, you know you wanna really, you wanna really check out this this boot, but it's brilliant. I've cleaned the boots. They're covered in mud. These are your brother's boots mm -hmm. with the anti clogs and um, materials. Uh, nice materials, really good, but they're quite muddy. We don't like dirty boots going to football. Um, and these are your ones you wore yesterday. Your um, Puma Ultras yeah. and uh, clean the bottom. Just did it outside. So it's still a bit wet and there's still some dirt and stuff. So what we're going to do, I'm going to actually clean the boots. We're going to do the laces, but your brother's laces are kind of um, a bit shot. So when you're relacing these, it's a bit of a mission and the laces get damaged. So um, we're not doing that. We're going to try this out. So let me just get some gloves on, sorry. Um, so yeah, just, uh, yeah, I'll dish back. One second, one second. I went to a tournament and... Um it was like, uh, yeah, that, that's why I'm going to beat somebody. It was the tournament yesterday. Came second. Yeah, cool. Yeah. So, uh, well, I'm going to do the demo. So, uh, the also, we got this brush I bought before we did a review. I'm not sure if there's going to be a link, if I can find a link on it, but this brush I bought from Amazon as well. It's pretty, fairly hard, but not too hard. Do a hard one, but that works good for me. I don't want to damage anything. But we want to clean our boots, and I know it seems a bit extreme, but clean boots look good. And clean boots, if the upper does a certain job, then you want them clean so it does its job properly. So we'll get your one first, and let's try it. So it says to apply it. We're just going to apply it anyway. No. Can you right. pump the foam? The foam. So let's try that. So I just go all over, that's what I do with the other Jason Marks. So the Jason Marks are very runny and liquidy, and you end up pouring loads out. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend the Jason Marks, although Jason Marks may be better at cleaning. Maybe when people recommend and stuff, but this seems just as good. And the soap is soap, and one of them damage the, the boots, and the sh these are for shoes, specifically, so they're not going to damage the shoes. You just go around everywhere, and they just look nice and clean. Even your mates at school have said, oh, I'm going to clean your boots up, haven't they? Have they said that? They have said yeah. that, haven't they? Yeah. I'm just going to go the lace as well, because although... They say who cleans your boots. I say me. I hope not. <laughs> no, I don't have it. So, uh, just put a bit more. And, you know, it seems like, look, if you see the leather, it's loads there, and it's not like... When you do Jason Marks on the container, not good, so you end up pouring too much out. So... It smells quite nice, have a whiff. Yeah. Smell like that? Yeah. Than, yeah, I think it smells a bit better than Jason Mark's one as well. So what we're doing, just going over everything. And the boots are going to get wet, obviously. So just quickly do it because I don't want to spend ages you guys watching. But yeah, um, so what I do normally, I've got a screwdriver. I don't really think, I just use the flick, the, the, the mud off went thick because it was dry from yesterday. And, and use that to flick the um, mud off here because I don't want to damage the boots. And then what I use is the um, the thingy boot buddy. Yeah, boot buddy. And just fill it up water each time. And then we'll do this. Remember, I don't use too much hot water. 
don't use really hot water because if you use really hot water it can um, affect the adhesives that they use the glues that's another thing to say don't use really hot water so rinse it off clean it off this is good these boots did good because um basically they just um the, the, the laces lace loops are, are stitched on the top there were your brother's one it's a problem because they're not stitched on the top you see you see the stitch on the top that's a good thing i'm gonna actually do let's go a little bit more and do a bit on the top so we can get that nice and clean i know we're getting a bit too maybe a bit extreme for a bit but why not <coughs> let's see what it's like doing this bit yeah so the brush is kind of good enough to agitate everything and clean but it won't damage like the, this cloth area it's not like you know at night you get the um what's it the special thing they use the material uh -huh. what they i can't remember the name but um puma good brand that's our new balance you know new balance you need to start looking at new balance boots if you want to get decent boots and not be ripped off not ripped off but not be spending a huge amount of money you want to be looking at kind of new balance and puma you like the shall we compare you can compare with it if you want but the thing is they're not that muddy you want they weren't caked in mud so the thing is with this upper this this mesh bit here you're never going to get completely clean mm -hmm. unfortunately you're never going to get completely clean but that is clean and that's looking good the only sad thing is this bit because it's dark it makes it look like it's dirty but it's not that's just the upper the color of the upper isn't it yeah you see if we rinse it off there's no if you look at the sink mm -hmm. sink. when i rinse it off there's no muddy stuff coming off now it's all nice and clean so yeah you could clean the laces or wash the laces but i do it sometimes but yeah so that's pretty clean it's kind of like a waterproofy mesh um uh, a textile based upper Ooh got some water in there and that's not good so i'll take you now so i got some water inside but we'll leave it to dry you don't need it till next week anyway do you no. you wear different boots for your yeah, on wednesday all right oh yeah so that's it so let's just compare to well you're not much to compare really oh yeah still yeah that's like ingrained that's like a mark from somewhere these are marks these are like the where the plastic's been kind of down so it is cleaner but definitely clean but you're never going to get these bits off no never that bit completely off lipstick and washing don't forget your boots and washing you'll ruin them so yeah what do you think what's the verdict the, yeah. the advantage of the jason marks is and just my time they're doing that they're not missing i can just go like this even better a couple there yeah that and it won't use a lot um jason marks one is good but i don't think it's a lot better than this I don't think it's better than this actually. Soap is soap, but I wouldn't use like washing up liquid. Use clean dishes with it. I wouldn't use normal soap because you could, I guess, but this is one that's conditioned as well. So these are kind of like markings that have occurred from, you know, yeah. off other people's boots or whatever. I don't know what has happened or not as if you play on Astro with these because they're not safe. <coughs> the ladies stuff no good for Astro. They're digging too much, grip too much, you can pop your ankle or your knee. You can twist your ankle or knee by doing it because it would dig in too much and drip too much. So just need a bit of maybe a bit more. And then again, this because foam probably lasts for ages. Yes. So I think, what what's the verdict? We like it? Yeah. We'll be getting this in the future instead of Jason Marks. Yeah. Sorry, Jason Marks. But I think this is good. This is good enough. I mean, you're not gonna get them absolutely perfect pristine, but you get them a lot cleaner than most people have. And that's the main thing. And you know, to get all the mud out there, these bits is good. To get the, the upper clean, because it, there is some, some grippiness there. Yeah. You do get a bit of grip on the ball. Do you get a bit of grip on the ball with it or not really? Yeah. So if you are, if this is caked in mud, then there stands to reason, theoretically, probably practically, it won't do its job as good. Mm -hmm. put, put it there. So, you know, it won't do the job as good. So if you clean upper, they look clean, they look good, you look the part. And then when you come in your, you now you've got your um, your tracksuit for team tracksuit, you turn up that clean boot looking nice, it looks good. 
yeah. You know? And I watched this thing on Train Effective, because Train Effective is pretty good this guy from Australia originally. You want to become a professional footballer, and I think he's left that because he's got a bit old. I'm not saying he's still not pursuing that, I could be wrong. Nice guy, and he's got this um, thing where he helps, helps um, people who want to become professional footballers. He's got an app, he's got a place where you stay with them and train with them. Really brilliant setup, he's a really clever guy. He's done it brilliantly, um, but he said he had one where um, he had these kind of scout who was telling him how, what to do and tell him how to play and you know he had scouts and he said what's that and he pointed at the guy's boots and it was the guy who actually does he says dear those boots are dirty don't ever come to a trial with dirty boots it's like an interview if you look dirty and not clean and tiny and fresh you're not taking it seriously so take things seriously so you always you know it always look nice to be clean and tidy and also you have to also the other thing is you don't know who's watching you'll get a good impression or a bad impression your your mindset your attitude the way you look you know mm -hmm. so we're done too there i've got some water in there got some water in the sea so take the insole out good thing about that more hind boots because these are hind boots we've got them cheap from m and diet always shop around um it's got a bit wet on the inside quite wet so we can just take that out leave that out leave it to dry and be dry in a couple of days Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we'll dry off some tissues probably as well. We've got a kitchen towel, probably use normal tissue, just like shreds, toilet tissue shreds. So if I grab some from here, let me demonstrate. So you need to come like kitchen towel if you're gonna dry it out a bit. So you want to dry it out a bit, you're gonna have to dab it rather than rub you start rubbing it. Actually it's not doing it now. So even when you've done it, look. Still mud. Yeah, so maybe we should go over it again. Maybe I'll go over it again. Okay. But still, it looks a much better than it would if you just wore them like that and went back on. The laces look clean, yeah? Uh-huh. They're not bad. What do you reckon? Yeah. Should we get this again then? We're definitely going to get this again. Yeah. Always look the part, always look cool, clean and tidy. You know, it's really important. See, so it's shredding. It's good, not made for this. It's not made for this. Kitchen towel more, um, you know, Using on those big rolls, using you know, yeah, it's all right. So, I'm feeling probably do it one more time. I'm just trying to get more cleaner because I want it to be clean, want to clean. So, yeah, happy with that, yeah, yeah. Do we leave it then? Success, yes. please like and subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you next time. Peace out, bye bye.